All right, people, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I flipped a four-figure account to six-figure account in just over a year and a half. What I'm gonna be doing is showing you the exact method to be catching those high-risk reward positions. And if you want to see more, join the Discord. It's free, link down below in the description. I'm gonna jump in the charts right now. This video is gonna be slightly longer, so give some patience. You know, you've gotta watch it all because I'm gonna be dropping all of these different type of nuggets that's gonna help you tremendously. So without missing things i want to just start off by explaining the three basic things within you know trading this approach you have to understand market intention if you don't understand market intention you're gonna be getting lost on direction essentially what we do is we try to build a picture a story and narrative on you know what price has to do and then when you start trading like that you're gonna be catching those more high risk to reward because you're following higher time frame more your win rates can be a lot more because you've been a lot more patient with your entries. So that's the first thing. Master market intention. I've got many videos regarding that. And if you need any help, Discord, ask me questions. I'm here 24-7 pretty much. Secondly, liquidity. So liquidity is the main priority. Obviously, understanding the structure and the direction is your main, to be honest with you. Liquidity. If you don't understand liquidity, then you don't understand market intention. You've got to be able to build a picture on what has to happen the market moves off of liquidity so we've got to be able to look at these structural lows highs look at where the liquidity is sitting because essentially our entries are around the liquidity our targets are around the liquidity our stops are around liquidity so we need to make sure that once the if the entry holds so basically keeping it short if the entry holds and the entry is correct the direction you know heat and take profit is going to happen 90 percent of the time because you know once you've understand the direction and market intention that's the easiest part about it you know getting those winning trades is super easy it's just getting those entries the entries and the refinements come after mastering the intention so that's that and then thirdly pretty simple everyone says that you know you've got to understand the correct time frames and yeah i understand it's hard because people are saying you know what time frame do you use and it's not about having set time frames to be using for different objectives essentially all the charts are different, right? Everything looks different. There's not going to be an opportunity that looks exactly the same or identical to anything else. So you've just got to play around, gain experience on, you know, knowing when to use the five minute, knowing when to use the 15, when to use the one hour, the one minute, etc. But the key things is always use the five and the 15 for your structure, your liquidity, your, yeah, basically liquidity is structure for the five and the 15. The one minute is only used when you're coming into the certain point of interest and you're looking for the exact entry. The one minute is going to be overrun by the five minute 100% of the time. So if you're seeing a break of structure in the one minute and it's not happening in the five minute, most probably a liquidity sweep and then the structure is going to be taken in a complete different direction, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through these trades here. You can see that I've kind of analyzed it and put some points uh, this is because I sent these examples over to the students. So I'm going to walk through this now. Um, keeping it short, we can see we're coming in the market. Let's look. It's 11 a.m. in the UK time. So obviously, if you're brand new here, maybe the video is not for you. But if you do understand structure, you can understand that this is accumulation. You know, price is consolidating. When price does this, we can usually expect one of the sides or both sides to be taken. So what I mean by taken is we have liquidity sitting above and below right so essentially for price to actually move to the downside or to the upside we have to see some type of liquidity sweep. without a liquidity sweep price does not move and that's why liquidity is so key especially with entries so as you can see price has come up taken the liquidity that's sitting above all of these highs right once we see that that is called inducement so this now induces a lot of people to start buying and the reason why that is because they're just seeing this as a break of structure right we've broken structure we've created a new high when in fact this is just inducement we've taken liquidity so what inducement means is people are seeing that as a break of structure and then they're going to be buying somewhere here and that's why we had a bit of manipulation here because people were trying to buy but moving on from that we can see the price has come down after taking the liquidity i'm just going to clear this off the screen just to make the charts a bit cleaner we can see that we've come down and then we've broken structure so a broken break of structure we need to see a candle close beneath the previous low if it's just a wick that's not classed as a break of structure we have to see candle close okay so now what did i say we need structure so we've got the structure we've got the intention the intention now is to see sales we're not going to be looking for sales until we see that liquidity grab so 
where's the first point of liquidity? The first point of liquidity is on the previous high. So we have to see this high get taken before seeing the sells. So if you don't understand that, we're not going to be entering sells off of this order block because there's no liquidity beneath it. There's this order block, there's this imbalance, and that's what we're going to be taking our position off of because we've taken liquidity. So that's that entry. We've got a nice entry. Obviously, stops are a bit larger than usual. However, this is still a nice 7%. I believe this order block was a three-minute order block, or it could be a five. Okay, so it was a three-minute pair Y. And the reason why, I'm going to quickly walk you through why I chose this order block. And this is the correct order block because it hasn't been mitigated. So what I mean by mitigated is if there's an order block, for instance, this order block, and price has already come down into it and then expanded to the upside. It's already been mitigated. So if price was to come into it again, it's not going to hold. So don't be entering off of order blocks that have already been tested. And that is a key thing that a lot of people forget. So this one here has been unmitigated. So as we've seen, take profit here. Now we can start looking for reversals because we understand that this is a valid point of interest and we can potentially see some buyers come off of it. So we're now back on the one minute. All we're looking for it's just a simple reaction. We don't need to see a shift because we know that we're going to see a continuation at some point. I'd only wait for a shift if it's um, a reversal from external. So we can see this is our external leg. This is our internal leg. So with our internal leg, we must see the external leg be created. So we're not too worried about seeing reversals. I only want to see a reversal at the peak of the external just because we don't know 100% where price is going to stop and then turn around. So waiting for that shift in structure just gives us that extra confirmation that price is gonna turn around. So here on the one minute, we can see nice tap into the POI reaction, been a little bit extra patient, prices continue to flutter around the POI, and then we entered. Stops are always around the low, because if price was to come beneath here, and then we wouldn't be looking for an entry. And then targets, exterior high, I believe, so that's our exterior high. We're obviously targeting some high time frame POI over there. So that's that. And I'm going to show you now a little confirmation. As we can see here, price has continued up, created a new high. We've pulled back, seeking liquidity. So as you can see here, there is liquidity laying underneath this candle, right? However, if you look to the left, there's an order block, which has already been mitigated. So there's no point above here that's valid. So we must see price come and take the liquidity from this low. So we've seen this. This is a liquidity induced entry. We've taken the liquidity. We wait for a reaction. Price has come up, pulled back down. Then we've continued up and then we've entered with stops just below. And again, take profit at the previous high or external. So I'm going to walk you through the basics again without showing another example. What we're essentially looking for is the intention. We need to understand where price is going. We need to understand what price needs to do and once you figure out the picture and the story behind the market you will then be able to take entries and actually you'll be able to spot entries a lot easier because if you understand that price is 75 95 percent chance of going up you know you're going to be spotting entries a lot better than everyone else if you're just simply following supply and demand broken structure then you know that's quite simple and that's what the majority of people are doing so you're going to be getting a manipulated you're going to see a lot more manipulation and a lot more stop loss being hit because essentially the majority of the traders out there are doing the same thing and that's what the banks are trying to do they're trying to take your money so if you're following it in this approach your win rate is going to be a lot a lot higher back to telling you the story intention make sure you've got a liquidity sweep if you haven't got any type of liquidity sweep then market is not going to have volume it's not going to push in your direction so here it's taken liquidity, then it's got a lot, a lot of volume. When price hasn't got a lot of volume, it won't move quickly. So here, as you can see, price is pulling back, didn't take any liquidity, slowly pulls up, pulls back, no liquidity, pulls up, pulls back, no liquidity. And that's why price slowly started to trade sideways because price didn't take any liquidity. In this point from here to here, no liquidity is taken. So there's no volume in the market. So that is a key, key factor. And if you forget that, then you might as well forget about taking your trade because you're not going to be in it for long. So I'm going to leave this video here. Hopefully it helps. I'm going to do a part two shortly and I'm going to see you boys hopefully in the Discord. Ask me any questions, submit your charts, watch the free course and I'll see you boys in the next video.